The third party import wizard in TE enables you to import records from your attendance system. This is so that you may have your data all in one place. There are 10 different record types that TE is able to import. This exercise will demonstrate on how to import student demographics from a third party system. I will click tools and then I will select third party import wizard. The introduction screen explains why this wizard was designed. I will click next. This window asks which type session will you be using? Will it be a new import session or will you be processing a previous import session? For this demo, I will be using a new import session and click next. Here in this window is where you would select the record type that you want to import. All record types have a four digit code behind it so that it will be recognizable by the TOPS Pro Enterprise program. I will select name and demographics and click next. TE recognizes three different import data formats, SDF, DBF, and CSV. I will select the CSV format. I will click browse now to locate the file that I want to import. I will select EDI 5050 since that is the four digit code for the name and demographics records and click open. It puts the file name in the third party student data window. I will click next. The wizard is now ready to process the data from the file that I selected. I'll click next. The content of the specified file has been read successfully. It has processed all 15 records and have been found to be valid. I'll click next. In the edit records window, it shows all 15 of the records that were in the import file. What I will do is I will change the site from one to seven. I will do that by clicking on the first one and then holding down the shift key and clicking on the last record. Now all 15 records are highlighted. This way, once I make a change, it will affect all 15 records at one time. I will click edit records. In the data correction edit window, I will check the box next to site. Then I will select the site that I want the records to be imported to. I'll hit enter. Now the site for each record has been changed to seven. I will click next. It shows there are 15 valid records that the wizard will attempt to import. I'll click next. The entire data set containing the 15 records have been imported successfully. I'll click finish. Now to locate the records that were imported, we can go to records, students, and then demographics. I will filter by site. Now we don't automatically see the students 
because these are brand new students and they have no activity in the current program year. So to find those students that we have just imported, I will click filter. And then I will remove the program year by clicking on the red X. I will click OK. And here are the 15 students that we have just imported.